Alexandra. Hey, Jaden. You did such a good job as young Shang-Chi in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. How did you find out that you first got the role? Well, at first I actually didn't find out because my agent told my mom to keep it a secret just in case I would leak the news to my friends. But when I did find out, my mom told me one day at dinner and I could barely stay still and eat dinner. I ran so many circles around the house. I think it was five. And then what did you have to do for your audition? Uh, well, Marvel just said um, I had to know martial arts and obviously know some acting and Mandarin. So I just taped the scene that they sent and yeah. Yeah, a lot, I noticed that a lot of your lines were in Mandarin. You were familiar with the language before you got the role? Yes, my mom and dad are from China, and we would speak Mandarin at home. Now, this is your movie debut. Was there anything that surprised you about the movie-making process or just being on set? Well, this is actually my first ever film. So something that really surprised me was that they made all the set pieces at first out of solid materials. I thought it'd just be like one small set and then a huge green screen, but they actually made it out of, I don't know, wood, foam. Anything else? Yeah, it was definitely how so many people could work together so flawlessly. It really looks like a huge machine, kind of like a factory. Now, which scene was the most fun to film? I think it was a scene where all four of the family members were together and we were just playing around, hanging about. It was really fun. And what was the toughest scene? Toughest scene, definitely a scene where I had to show like lots of emotion and that kind of stuff. I think we had to tape it a few more than three times. It was really hard for me because I'm a new actor. Where was the movie filmed? Well, at first, actually, they filmed it in Australia. And then because of the pandemic, production shut down. And then we had to go back to Australia for the second session of filming. And then after that, yay, we're all done. But then we had to go to Los Angeles for some Patrick. Tony Leung and Fala Chen played your parents. What were they like to work with? It was such an honor working with amazing actors, especially in my first project. They could just really immerse themselves in their characters and you could feel like, wow, he's actually a mean villain dad. Hmm. And Fala is actually a super nice person in real life, but it really feels more comfortable to be working with her when she's acting. I know you didn't share any scenes with Simu Lia, but did you know who he was? Yeah, actually, I watched a few episodes of his show, Kim's Convenience, and I think he's pretty famous in Canada. Yeah, he definitely is. Did you get to meet him at all during filming? Yes, so I think my first day at production, I got to meet him and he was super nice. And one time I was on set and he came over in a superhero suit. And I think I got to poke some of the scales, but he was like, careful, they're not done drying yet. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, now you've played a role in a movie since then, right? Yes. The film was called Sight and it was after the two blocks of Australia filming but right after, oh, right before the LA film. And what kind of role do you play in that one? Uh, I play the young uh, version of the main character, just like this one. When did you first get into acting? How old were you? I was around eight or nine, and I got into acting because when I was small, I would always say, hey, I'm gonna I want to be an actor because my mom would tell me that all the cool people I saw on TV shows were actually actors. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so 
when I was eight or nine, I can't, really can't remember. My mom sent me over to an acting school and I took a few lessons. We got an agent and then, yeah. And what do you like to do in your spare time? I really like to go hiking. I like going on road trips, vacations. I've lately become slightly addicted to skateboarding and I like to play board games. And we're almost going back to school now. What grade are you going into? I'm going into grade seven in September. And finally, just one last question for you. What do your friends think about you being in a big Marvel movie? Well, I told a few of my close friends um, before we were supposed to. But I think it was actually when we could tell our really close friends and relatives, just not the whole public. And I told some of them, and I remember one of my close friends was like, no way, no, you're lying, right? And what made you, how did he finally get convinced? When the trailer came out. <laughs> that's right, you're in the trailer quite a bit. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, I wanna thank you so much for chatting with me today. You did such a great job in this film and I'm hoping to see you in a lot more films. Thanks.